Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 10th of 2019. It is a Thursday. And I think this is going to be a fast video. I have an idea what it's going to be about because I've marked some pages to show you. But again, I think it's going to be a fast video. Uh, I want to, this month I'm going to be getting, by the way, $18 in commission from Amazon uh, because of items that you have purchased by going to links or whatever that I've had. $18. For the last two months, I didn't get anything. Well, I mean, a couple of dollars, but then they're added into this $18. So it would help a great deal if you could. And as I've told you, you can just... Uh, I set it up so you can do make it e make it easy for your for you for you. You can just do Jim Howard dot me. Let me show you that. And if you don't, the police are going to come and get you. I don't know if you heard that or not. Just do uh, Jim Howard J I M H O W A R D dot M E and. You go there. Now, if you buy anything at Amazon, I will get a commission. I'm getting about $23 a month in commission from YouTube. So, if, I'm, you know, if you people would uh, do this favor for me, just uh, I might end up making a nice little sum of money. Not from YouTube, but from Amazon links. Okay, sorry about that. A two-minute commercial, I guess. Um, here's the CNN front page. Uh, Giuliani's associates, two of them, have been arrested. Two men connected to the Rudy Giuliani effort to dig up dirt in the Ukraine on Joe Biden were picked up on criminal charges says the U.S. Attorney General. Uh, they were trying to leave the United States. They were both arrest, arrested at the airport. I wonder who tipped them off that uh, they were going to be taken into custody because they were at the airport and they had one-way tickets out of the United States. And I guess it probably will not be long before Rudy Giuliani will also be getting arrested. Uh, let's see what else um, there was something over here I wanted to let me go down the list here uh, by the way and maybe this is a place to mention it since we're talking about President Trump's personal attorney here Rudy Giuliani uh, when Trump was elected president of the United States, I told you all that the most corrupt administration the United States ever had was under President Grant. Uh, that was the most corrupt. Uh, the uh, administration that had the most people around the president, most the president's uh, appointees, he arrested. The most administration that had the most was Ronald Reagan's administration. An unbelievable number arrested for crimes. I told you that uh, after Donald Trump's election that it would not be very long until there'd be one administration that would get have both of those gold stars or cups or statuettes or whatever that it would be the uh, Donald be the uh, Donald Trump administration uh, we are at that point now so that uh, hooray she, she should get a he wants a Nobel Peace Prize but we can't give him that but we can give him some kind of a trophy uh Mr. President, 
your administration is the most corrupt administration that the United States has ever had. Mr. President, your administration has had more people in it arrested for crimes, and they, we haven't even, you know, they haven't even started. I mean, you know, he is already number one. Trump is number one. So, uh, oh, there was some other item on here. Let me look down here and see. Well, let's see if it's over here. My God, it's un it's just so sad about the Kurds. I'm not going to go into it, but it's just absolutely tragic. What? That's why you know I. A long time ago, it wasn't uh, it wasn't Trump. Who was the guy from Texas that ran for president uh, on the Republican side? Or no, did he, did he run on the Republican or did he run on an independent? Can't remember. A businessman. And he had no, uh, he was like Trump, he had no, except he was a success, successful businessman. Uh, he had, uh, I, I kind of thought at the time, I can't, can't remember his name, uh, that, uh, you know, he would, I thought he would go in and do some of the things that Mr. Wonder Trump hasn't done. But I thought he would go in and just kick ass and do stuff. I knew stuff that would be, it would be, unconstitutional for him to do it. It'd be a mistake for him to do some of the stuff. But I thought, no, he, you know, I could see him, you know, going over to the State Department or Department of Defense or whatever and going in, you know, with his Secret Service detail and his flunkies following him or whatever. And I could see, you know, him going through someplace and there's a secretary or somebody that's uh, not working, you know, they're reading the funny papers or we're doing something and he would just say, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. Or he would just go in someplace and say, okay, uh, too many people working here. Cut the staff by 50%. You know, stuff that actually he couldn't do because there's, uh, you know, there are rules about how you, you know. But I still thought, I thought, well, he might, now I have, of course, uh, after Trump, no, we need people. We need somebody elected president of the United States who, you know, we need a, a politician, somebody who knows how the system works, who understand, who's read the Constitution of the United States, understands the Constitution of the United States, you know, knows about our allies, who our allies are, and why, and I mean, and who will listen, and who will try to appoint good people. I mean, just so I've given up on that idea. You know, I've given up on the idea of. Just uh, throw some crazy person in there, and uh, so I was wrong about that. Of course, I didn't vote for him, but I mean, and, but at the time I thought, okay, let's let's get somebody. The system is so messed up. Let's get somebody in there that just raises hell. I think I let's see. I think I remember this. Uh, thing um, I believe I remember this one but I'm not going to take them uh, <clears throat> there was something here that uh Anyway, can't find it now. Anyway, two men connected with uh, Giuliani's Ukraine efforts charged with funneling foreign money into U.S. elections. Uh, I'd like to know who, you know, they were at the airport, like I told you, uh, with one-way tickets or whatever. I'd like to know who, uh, who tipped them off, uh, who, you know, who contacted them and said, you need to get out of, get out of the United States right away. Uh, I'm on uh, Social Security, and the once a year we get a, called a COLA, cost of living index or something, 
and so we get a uh, increase. And so next year it's going to be 1.6 percent for 2020, and the uh, increase amount is $24 a month for the average retired worker, and I am the average retired worker. And uh, my ex-wife will get $12 extra per month. Uh, the, and I'm glad for the small increase. It doesn't keep up with the real cost. I mean, the cost of living increase, I don't know, I forget exactly how they go out with a cart or something, government workers someplace in different areas of the country and get certain standardized, something like that, and they come up with a number. Uh, for me and for other older people, especially people that have some medical problems or whatever, <clears throat> we spend more money, uh, we spend money differently. So actually we should be getting, you know, we should get a little bit more than what, but I'm happy for the small amount each year. Of course, there's some years that we uh, haven't received a cost of living, but the uh, apartment complex that uh, I live in, just about every, just I think every year that I've been here, uh, they increase the uh, the rent for the uh, you know the lease. They increase it every year, and uh, it's always more than than the cost of you know. And then some years we didn't get we didn't get a increase, you know, and they still increase it. Then what they did here one year is we didn't used to pay for water and. Uh, two or three items, little items. And then one year they increased the uh, rent and then they started charging, which comes to about altogether <clears throat> uh, an extra 45 or $50 a month for the extra things that used to be free. So, you know, so I'm grateful for the cost of living. By the way, uh, you can expect that uh, Donald Trump because he's stupid and then because he's dishonest that he's going to uh, take credit for the uh, 1.6 percent cost of living increase. Um, well, he's just, he's just, he is just stupid and he's dishonest. And uh, that's a terrible combination. And two, when you throw in the fact that he doesn't care about people or care about the United States. He just cares about himself. That's a deadly combination, especially deadly for the Kurds, I guess. Um, last year, I think it was, I believe the military gets the same cost of living that we get, that retired people get and some others, I believe. I'm pretty sure that they do. And, uh, but last year, Trump went, I think he went to Iraq and uh, appeared before the troops and uh, told them repeatedly that he had got them a 10%, you know, that, that the Democrats didn't want him to have any more money and that uh, he got them you know, I got you all a 10% pay increase, a 10% pay increase. I got you a 10% pay increase. And uh, they got, I think, 2.6%. And that, that's probably what uh, maybe we got, you know, non-military retired people or whatever. Uh, but he got them two. Well, he didn't get them. Uh, Trump didn't get this for us. Congress, you know, okay, this, like the cost of living amount is written into law, and the president has nothing to do with it. It's written into law. He can't change it. He can't increase it. It's Congress has done that. It's written a law. And, uh, but anyway, he was telling the people, he was right there in front of, I just, it's just mind-boggling. He was there before the, and I'm sure that all the military men know, you know, when they get their paycheck, hey, of course, perhaps the men actually there in Iraq, and maybe they were maybe they were confused because 
the military, I was not in the military. I tried to get in the military, but I couldn't get in. Uh, uh, they have, you know, they're, if they're deployed, they go to a different base. If all they, you know, they get housing. They get, they get a lot of benefits. Or they don't get enough money, by the way, not near enough money. Although, if you move up in rank, they, they get. Uh, of course, it's not w- what we've been doing to our military, deploying them all the time now. Uh, just all the time, but yeah, it's uh, for the lower ranks, for the new people in the military. For a while, I'm not sure at what level it gets to a point where, yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's uh, that's good pay, but not good pay if you're, you know, being sent away from your family all the time. If you're doing multiple deployments into combat zones or whatever, that's not, but if you're up there in certain rank, I don't know, somebody else, I've seen YouTube videos where people talk about that. Uh, so, um, I am using uh, two monitors again, but I do not have this one in 4K mode. Um, I saw these on Amazon, and I have or- I ordered them. And I'm going to put them, well, I might have changed my mind. When I get them, I'll try them. I have... Uh, a bed that I would like to raise up, and plus also I, I've, I've, the legs of this inexpensive bed, the frame is metal, and the legs that come down are rounded, but they're also sharp or whatever. And I I cannot afford to uh, bang up my legs. Uh, I don't have good circulation in them in any way. Uh, so I. Uh, just ordered this. I'll be here tomorrow. And uh, they'll raise the bed up. And but I'm also thinking I'm going to tr- I have moved my chair because it's crap. And I'm using it just a folding chair which actually feels better on my back and whatever but it's kind of low. So I may try this on that also. So I will let you know how that works out. And I ordered these speakers. I got them, I think, not sure if it was the next day or two days. Um, They're very inexpensive. Uh, A whole bunch of people have reviewed it. Just do a search for Creative Pebble or whatever, and there's a whole ton of people... And it looks like a whole bunch of people got them sent for free to be reviewed. I didn't. I paid for these. Uh, I told you, you know, I had the Sound Blaster big tall tower with some good speakers and built-in microphones or whatever. Uh, the problem I was having with that was uh, at the low volume level, which I use, I use my thing a lot to uh, quiet it down, there was a delay. A slight delay. And so I I got this to hook up to um, my Amazon Echo to, uh, you know, boost the volume. Not for music quality or anything like that, but just to boost the volume. I have to and then I got in. I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to try it. And I hooked it up. <clears throat> They're not bad. Now, keep in mind, I have significant hearing loss in both years, and I've had it since... The, second grade or whatever of school. So do not take my recommendations on speakers, sound, or anything like that. But this, these are doing fine. I've got them slid right up, right exactly behind my monitor here. I can The volume control is right here. And so I have it, you know, plugged into USB for power and then plugged into the 3.5 jack. So, um, let's do one more thing before we go. No, let's not. This is enough. You have been tortured enough. So, I do thank you for watching this video. I am uh, 
since I have said some bad things about our president, God, I hate saying our president, I am not going to monetize this, so you shouldn't see any uh, commercials on it. Uh, but uh, please do use my link to, uh, and any links you see below that go to Amazon, please use them. Uh, probably not always, but some of the times, the, or most of the times, the links below that go to Amazon, you will, uh, if you buy something, I will get a, a commission. So please use the links below or uh, please just store this in your brain or put a put it on your desktop uh, or a link someplace where you know, mark it as Amazon or something and just do Jim Howard dot me and you will go here and then uh, by the way here's my earnings you thought you were going to get away from here didn't you here is my earnings from Amazon by the way when you buy something at uh, because of the link you know it doesn't cost you any extra um, by the way I can see what people are, where I'm getting, I can see um, what people have used, uh, but I, I don't know who you are. It doesn't identify you in any way. So uh, go ahead and order all the pornography. And uh, oh, I see some. Oh, that's how I found it. I think I'm going to get this, by the way, because I, yeah, I, I bookmarked this. Somebody purchased this. And I clicked on it to see what it is. And it's a light that goes up on top of your monitor. And it's, uh, it's pretty expensive. But anyway, it goes on top of your monitor. And they have one without the, this bar. But then you have this thing that comes down. It's a USB, plugs into USB. And uh, you have this control. And you can control the light and the uh, the color hue, I think. Don't hold me to this, but. Uh, and I think this would be, this is going to be, I think this will be when I can afford it. Uh, I am going to get it. And it's got four and a half, four and a half stars. Because I think it'll be exactly, I just need, because also because of my, getting old and not having my eyes tested the way I should and everything. Uh, you'll see me, uh, okay, you'll see me all the time doing this. I'll have to, uh, oops, not the flashing doesn't help. I'll have to uh, do stuff like this to show you something or to tell you, tell you something. I'll have to have, I have a couple of these flashlights ha handy, and I think that's going to be one of, that's going to be a really great item I think for let me run down and see what a couple people say in the reviews I'm not allowed to review by the way as I told you uh, I think I'd done a thousand reviews or, or more on Amazon they have some cheaper lights don't they well they do yeah I mean but I think I'm going to go with this one 129 oh, this, these all have well uh, hmm. this one is only $40 and it looks a lot like this one I'll have to check have to check that out anything with a TV port I mean, or a USB port you can power it This person says worth every penny. This person says beautiful design, decent interface. This one says this lamp is the bomb. Ooh. 
do not get this product. When I first received the product, I liked it at least. It looked good, but when I turned on, when I turned on auto dimmer, the light would go off every single time. So I contacted tech support, and uh, the rep told me this is a known issue and will replace with another one. Uh, Okay. So, all of you rush over to Amazon and purchase something expensive. And then when I get my uh, commission from them, I will be able to buy this. But if you don't, I'm going to have to buy this other one that is less expensive. No, I'm actually going to wait for this uh, because of the controller and everything. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.